there's one, a lot of points on the app. There's just one guy shaking his head like, no, no, no. I love it. Yeah. You, you, got a, uh, you got a home crowd. I assume you've come to apologize for what happened in the Super Bowl? No, no. I, I came to see Baby Tom. Where is he at? Oh, tonight? Baby Tom. <laughs> we had to put I'm Baby Tom. Oh, there is Baby I Tom. I love you! I love you! Baby Tom. I want Baby. you to be my real dad! <laughs> How you doing? Everything all right? I'm doing great. Great yeah. to be here in California, be with you. Isn't that something that you can come to California where really just a few months ago yeah. you beat us in the Super Bowl and um, yet you still get this kind of uh, an ovation. Oh, thank you, I it know. It is remarkable. I'm, yeah. It's, I'm a California kid at heart, so you are it, a California it always feels guy. good. You know, coming back to this. I don't think state. Boston people like to admit that, but yes, you I'm are. I'm an adopted Bostonian. I've from been there California. for yeah, longer, actually, in Massachusetts than I have been. In a way, you're an abducted Bostonian, aren't you? I, I mean, they are out, never but, letting yeah. you go. You're never leaving Probably that area. Not. Probably not. You um, you were uh, practicing. You were throwing passes to receivers at UCLA yesterday, yeah, right? Yeah, had a great time. And I saw a video of you with Julian Edelman. You were throwing passes to him. Yeah. You know it's the off season, right? You're aware that really? this, yeah, yeah. this is vacation time yeah. right now. You know, I feel like... Um, I feel like I always want to be ready to go, so. What, just even, in case they start the season early? Maybe, I don't know, but, <laughs> but I feel like, you know, I can actually go enjoy myself if I feel like I'm in, I'm in game shape and ready to go. Interesting. So it wouldn't take me too long to get ready, but to have the, you know, ability to do that in off season and keep things sharp is, is so important to me. Does that relieve some kind of anxiety for you to know that you're, yeah. you don't have to come back from it, you don't have to get in shape because you always are in it? Yeah, because I think, you know, if you ride that roller coaster, it's tough. As an athlete, this is your profession. I mean, we all work hard. We want to stay at the top of our game. I think that's a year-long commitment, so. Yeah, but no, for most guys, it probably isn't. Most guys take a little bit of downtime. Yeah, not me. Do you not think you're, much. like, when you're out there throwing passes to these guys, yeah. are you just trying to maintain, or are you actually trying to improve the way you yeah. throw a football? I think definitely try to improve. You know, really? I, I feel like after all these years, there's... You know, there's a certain feeling you get when you throw the perfect pass. And I'm sure that's like that in a lot of other careers. But when you're really on and you're nailing it, you just want to repeat it. And Out of all your passes, It's like percent, a sickness of throwing a spiral. If I, you I, throw like 100 passes, what, yeah. how many of them will be, in your opinion, perfect? In a game? In a game. I would, I would say probably out of 100? Yeah. In a game? Mm -hmm. I'd love to throw the ball 100 times in a game. <laughs> they usually don't let me throw it 100 times in a game. But it's three games. Okay, yeah. it's three games. Perfect. Yeah. Um, not that many, surprisingly. I'd say like 10. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Wow. You complete a lot of them because they have arms and they can extend them and right. catch. But <laughs> it's tough to like hit a, you know, a stationary target that many times in a row, especially good. with. It's you know. good to have teammates with arms, isn't it? It's yeah. like, Some it's of the best I've had have, have had arms. <laughs> it, they're yeah. underrated appendages. They I really know. are. Do people cry when they meet you? I mean, I'm sure that happens to you. In Boston. In Boston, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think baby Tom, I don't know if he would cry. I didn't see much sensitivity. But I think He's, they do. Yeah, yeah they do. That's got to be a strange thing. I think, you know, I've been in sports for so long, I think it brings so many people together. Uh -huh. And, you know, it brings families together. And so many important, you know, family memories are being in a place and enjoying something. And in Boston, you know, so we've had so many great memories over the years. And I think... It just, uh, you know, sports is a way of touching people. That's interesting. That I guess, yeah. I mean, I think that's true for some people, but I think some people are just like, just cannot get over the fact that you exist. And it's like Why aren't almost you like crying. <laughs> I mean, me? can you cry, please? Oh, me? No, you don't have oh, to. Oh, yeah, I'll work up some tears. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you stay in shape, you do yeah. all this stuff that you need to do. Do you ever get, get, like, are you ever tired of this? Do you ever feel like, like, okay, I've had enough? Um, not to this point. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I feel like, you know, to be at the top or to give your team a chance to win every season, you have to, you know, put a lot into it. And I try to, you know, bring my best every day. I try to be the best, you know, teammate, leader, and also physically to stay prepared because no one wants someone that, you know, is, is taking up space. So. Is it true that the real, real camaraderie, the real teamwork happens in the shower? <laughs> That is totally inappropriate. That is inappropriate. Yeah. Okay, I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How much hunger do you have for yeah. another championship ring? Because you have six, yeah. right? I know. It's been pretty amazing. Yeah. An, an incredible run. I've 
so grateful to be in the same place with so many, you know, incredible teammates over yeah. the years. It's such a, you know, it's such a team effort. It's but isn't six like even one too many? I mean, it's, <laughs> and it doesn't. Involve... I've played a long time, so <laughs> six is six. I mean, I could never imagine in my wildest dreams right. having achieved that. But I think as a competitor, you know, you're, you get to line up and you get to go after it again. And you just you... want to win every single time. I, damn it, I want to win. It's greedy. What's wrong with winning? I want to win. I hear you want to win, too. So. I like to win things, but, you know, I'm, 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 I'm bad when I win, I'm bad when I lose, it's whatever. I'm just a bad sport in yeah. general. Are, do you have a, ever have trouble controlling your competitiveness? Um, I think over the years I've gotten a lot better. I think as a kid I was like, I threw a lot of golf clubs. I, mm -hmm. you know, like punched the wall and broke remote controls. And What about with your own kids? Are you competitive with them? Um, I have my moment. <laughs> I have my moments. I know, they're young, uh -huh. but, you know, like, what's a dad supposed to do? Teach them lessons, right? You can't <laughs> let them win. <laughs> Actually, I do let them, you know, kind of win to a degree, and then all of a sudden, there's that little competitive part of your, that's in your stomach just comes out, and then you win, and I'm like, why did I do that? <laughs> and then, you know, my son's crying. Yeah, and, and you're... <laughs> You're the hungry, hungry hippos champion. Yeah. I mean, I, I got in it. your face, kid. That's right. Well, I do tell him. I said, look, one day you're going to beat your dad and everything, and I'm never going to get a chance to win, win again, so I'm going to try to run up the score as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And yet I know you really don't believe that. Deep down in your You'll be 70 years old, oh, 80 years still old. Complete that probably bad. still playing <laughs> at that age, no. yeah. One of the things I admire about you, I mean, obviously you're a great player and all yeah. that stuff, but as a teammate, you could... You should be the highest paid player in football, but you're not the highest paid player because you don't demand that. I think what, you're like 18th or 20th. Yeah. Shouldn't you be the highest paid guy? That's a good question. Thank I mean, you. <laughs> yeah, that's usually when I want to answer a question, I always say like, that's a good question. But I think the thing I've always felt for me in my life, you know, winning has been a priority and my wife makes a lot of money, so. I see, oh good, that's nice. <laughs> That works out I, well. I'm a, I'm a little smarter than you think. <laughs> I mean, no. I actually, oh, yeah. it's a salary cap. Everyone, you know, you can only spend so much, and the more that, you know, one guy gets is less for others. And I think for a competitive advantage standpoint, I'd like to, you know, get a lot of good I players I hope the Patriots me. appreciate that you do that. I really Thank do. You. Yeah, Thank I mean, it, well, they do. I know the fans do. They do. I'm sure your teammates do. Yeah. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.